So for today, we're gonna to be reviewing Aegis Scepter with the Catalyst itself. I finally got the Catalyst after 20 plus runs. I stopped counting after I got Ant Eatered and Beavered for like the seventh, eighth time in a row. So I love this Catalyst, but it is um, marred with like really bad experiences for me. Because again, I was 20 plus runs, plus a lot of them were like, I was getting kicked because of Ant Eater or Beavered. So I recommend this catalyst but oh man if you have bad luck i would just i i do not want to do that again let's just say that like it was horrible but if you guys don't know the age receptor catalyst i'll have it on the screen right now but when you hold r it drains super energy overflowing the magazine and empowering the beam with bonus damage and the ability to slow and freeze targets until the magazine or super energy runs out or the weapon is stowed can only be activated when super energy is full so I use this in low level nightfalls and I gotta say it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was pairing this with Mantle of Battle Harmony, which I don't have to make a video on this because everyone has been making a video on this. It's really good, but I took it a step further and just put a bunch of elemental well mods on it, which one of them was giving me bonus damage with stasis weapons, which of course it actually does stack with the will, uh, will given form, which is what the catalyst ability is called. It stacks with that as well, which is why you see like double bu buffs on me. It, I have been having so much fun with Aegis Scepter just because of the fact that I'm actually starting to like really get into the build craft of it. Aegis Scepter is probably the like the first gun that's really gotten me into like, okay, like what mods can I really make this even more gross? Because uh, I have Elemental Well on it. I'll go through the build if you guys want, if you guys let me know in the comments below but essentially i was just trying to get more damage off of basically this gun and on top of that the battle harmonies uh takedowns though takedowns with weapons that have the damage type matching your subclass element grant you super energy which is really beneficial because you can keep that you can keep uh will give form a lot longer it's honestly probably one of my favorite guns in the season right now but let's look at the weapon itself so it does have arrowhead break, greatly controls recoil, increases handling speed. That's really good. Uh, particle re repeater, increased stability, which you can already see the stability is already maxed out, or at least almost. Uh, stasis final blows, transfer ammo to this weapon's magazine from reserves. So if you activate will give him form, then Regus refrain is gonna start proccing a lot from kills, which is really good because you can just keep, keep going over and over and over. And hand laid stock increases stability, which is why the stability is so high. And then final blows with this weapon generate a slow burst around the target, the uh, defeated target. So once you get the catalyst, you'll be looking at around thousand, a thousand kills. Uh, I just went to where I usually go, which is the shattered throne, the thrall room, and I just chilled there for a bit and until I got it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, once I started using it, I was like, what the fuck? This is gonna be gross. I went into PvP. Unfortunately, I don't think it's that great in PvP. Um, Will Given Form is definitely dope as hell. But this gun, it, it's, it suffers from a lot of trace rifles, which is, it's not good for dueling. I know people are going to tell me, oh no, like this weapon is good. This weapon is good. Yeah, but like trace rifles for me, I just don't like to duel with them. Just because any any hit I get, I'm immediately flinched, flinched the hell out. So for PvP, I'm not the biggest fan of this weapon. PvE though, I think this is where the weapon's like shining the most. Uh, obviously, because ba Mantle of Battle Harmony is going to stack with this really well. The Elemental Wells mods, if you can really go in all in with it, it gets really fucking gross. And it gets really fun because once, once a Stasis Elemental Well falls, it's immediate bonus damage for 10 seconds. If you already have your super and activate a uh, will of will give him form, then it's even more damage. It's so much fun. I don't do percentages just because I'm a fucking moron when it comes to math. Uh, but the damage is pretty dope. If I remember correctly, it was 80% from last time I heard. So you're getting an 80% damage bonus on top of the well one, which I don't know which percentage that is. I think it might give you like a 10 to 20% buff. I don't think it would be 100%, that would be wild, so maybe like 10%. But I absolutely love this combination. I got on my Warlock and I was like, man, I'm gonna probably have to play on my Warlock more because Battle of Harmony with this with this gun and these mods, it slaps the fuck out of it. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, like I said, I absolutely love this gun. I think it's gonna be super fun. I don't, this is the, th the only problem. I don't know if it's gonna be meta in like Grandmasters. I wouldn't be mad if someone used this in Grandmasters, but I, pro I personally probably would never use it. That probably says more that I don't use my Warlock than anything else, but at the same time, I don't know if this would be that great. Will given form would definitely give it a lot more viability, but you don't have your super all the time. Maybe if you have high, high, high intellect, that would probably give it a lot more value. But for me, I don't know. I, I still have to like use it a lot more, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm probably going to do some builds with Aegis Scepter just because it's super dope. Although I think the only worthy build is the one with uh, Mantle of Battle Harmony, just because that one really stacks really well with it. I don't, we'll see we'll see I'll, I'll if you guys have any anything like that let me know in the comments below i'll definitely look it up but be safe guys let me know what you guys think about Aegis Scepter, and i'll see you guys later